What in the world is going on? People of YouTube, I'm Steven with Purpose Lens Photo and Media, and today is gonna be great. And the only reason I'm doing this is because this thing right here, for some reason, it scares people. The problem with that is that makes things very complicated. This is just too stressful, but it is serious because in the end, it doesn't move me forward personally. I haven't had my hands on it, so I don't know all the ins and outs as far as that goes. This is gold that I'm really giving you. This is some real game. It really is. I'm not even going to lie to you. And you certainly don't want to be known as the stinky breath videographer. Trust me, that's not a good one to have. The key here is keep it simple. Again, keep it simple. As humans, we use words, facial expressions, and hand gestures to communicate. This boils down to verbal communication and nonverbal communication, also known as body language. Editing is very similar to how we communicate as humans, but instead of using words, facial expressions, and hand gestures, we use cuts, sounds, and transitions to communicate information and draw a person's eyes to what it is we want them to see or focus on. Now, editing allows you to change time. That means I can be here one minute and here the next, or I can be here. Now, I don't have to stay here, but it's pretty comfortable here, to be honest. Maybe I'll stay here. All right, so I'm gonna show you a little bit more about what editing can do, uh, but first, I'm gonna change my shirt, and I'll be right back. All right, actually on second thought, I don't know if I like this shirt. All right, that's much better. Let's keep going. Editing is a language. Believe it or not, you're pretty familiar with this language because you've been exposed to it for so long. If you see a lot of fast paced cuts, this tells you that this is an action scene. If music starts to play at a specific time during a scene, this tells you what emotion to have. Now, whether you're watching YouTube, a movie or a TV show, you're constantly being communicated to and your attention is being directed and focused hundreds of times throughout the duration of your watch time. If you're telling a story, giving instructions, or entertaining people, editing allows you to convey a thought or idea by highlighting parts of the story through cuts, transitions, and audio. So I like to look at editing as an actual language, like we speak now, you know, but instead of using lyrics and words, you're actually using cuts and transitions to speak, and you're also using music. Now, the power of this is so deep that you may not even realize that you speak this language already. Most of the things that you watch, whether they be movies or TV shows, have already taught you to respond to certain things. For instance, when the beginning of a movie starts, you're going to know what type of movie it is based on the music that you hear, based on the colors that you see, and based on the pacing of how everything is. That's what we have been designed to respond to, even in horror movies, we know that when things get really quiet, it's about to be a jump scare. Something's gonna come out and something's going to scare us. And then there's the suspenseful music that's played. And this music helps to get our emotions going. And we know, uh-oh, here comes something. And nobody is verbally telling us anything. We're getting all of this just from the way the movie is edited. So I wanna get to the second part of this, which is, well, how does editing all work? Well, I'm gonna tell you my process really quickly and how I go from an idea to YouTube or my other videos that I do. So first I start with a thought. Once I have this thought in my head, then it kind of comes to me in streams. Now I'm an overthinker or I think a lot. So things and thoughts are always going through my head. Even when I'm asleep, it seems, I'm always having thoughts. So the first thing for me is to get those thoughts in order so that they're not just a big rush of thoughts, because if not, none of them would make sense. And I would be all over the place like I often am with these YouTube videos. After I have my thoughts, then what I'll do is I'll take uh, my computer or my phone and I will put those in a form of a note. I'll write everything down so that I can see exactly 
where everything is, and then I'll start to organize those things. And this is actually when I start to edit because certain thoughts that don't add to what it is that I'm trying to convey, they will get cut out. They will get thrown away, sometimes just pushed to the side. And I'll do this all through just typing my notes. After my notes are done, then what that does is it gives me a better understanding and a skeleton of what I'm working with. I'll then verbally recite everything that I wrote down. Once I start to speak it out verbally with my mouth, then I can go, you know what? This doesn't make sense here. I should say this word. I shouldn't say this word. And I'll further edit my notes again. So I might go through this process maybe two or three times. And then after I'm done with that and I say it again, then I'm ready to record. Once I record, then I'll go ahead and say things out and I'll still have mess ups and issues here and there, but that's why I'll make notes. I will make notes and these notes are just basically like headers. Once I record, then I'll go ahead and say things out and I will make notes. And these notes are just basically like headers to all the organized thoughts that I've had. And that just keeps me on track, but I'll still deviate from that because even when I'm sitting here talking, I'll have more thoughts that flow in my head. And so I'll sometimes weave those in to what it is that I've already thought about before. And then the final process is putting them, the videos into my computer, and then I'll edit them further, rearrange them and do whatever touch-ups need to be done. But this is my flow. So the last part is how can you get to a point to where you're editing videos and it's effective and it's efficient well first of all it's going to take time the more you do it the quicker it's going to happen and the better you're going to become at it and the more you're going to be able to put your thoughts together and get them out the second thing is there needs to be a format that you have that works for you i don't know how your brain works maybe things don't come to you quickly or maybe you don't get inspiration the same way i do but find out whatever your inspiration is and how it flows for you. And once you figure that out, I would suggest write that formula down so that you can always go back to it. Cause there are going to be times where your mind, you don't have anything like to really think about, but if you write down all of your thoughts, you can always go back to something and you'll have an endless supply of thoughts an endless supply of topics to work on. So I just want to share with you guys really quickly, just a couple editing techniques here that I use. And I think these are very helpful. They're basic techniques. They're not anything really crazy, but they will, I believe, make your videography a lot better. So one of the first things I want to talk about is a J cut. A J cut is basically when the audio from your next clip comes in before the actual clip comes in. You'll be seeing me, but you will start to hear the audio from the next clip before that clip starts. And this is what a J cut looks like. Man, who? Who asked you? I'm, why I'm why you. do you think what you say I'm, matters? I'm your huh? thoughts. You're always getting into my business. Now the next cut is something called an L cut and it's the opposite. So instead of the audio coming in first, the picture will change and the audio is still going. So your picture will change first while you still have the same audio that was in the previous clip. Then it will eventually change over to the current audio. And this is what an L cut looks like. Now, utilizing these type cuts right here can make a huge difference in interest in your videography and in your YouTube videos and things like that. So these are just a couple of tips that I thought would be helpful to you. And if you guys want to see more of this stuff, click below. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll holla at y'all later. I'm out. Peace. So one of my favorite things about editing is you can take out mess ups or actually mistakes. And you'll never know that I even made that mistake unless I just showed you like I did there. Uh, you can also do things like this and you'll never know the difference. That is what I love so much about editing. The possibilities are really endless and endless and endless, as you can see. Mm -hmm.